If you're thinking to become a data scientist, you might want to stick around. I'll tell you all there is to know about it. I have compressed almost a decade of experience into this short video, and I'll walk you through the exact step-by-step -step pattern with all the required links and references. Just follow the plan and in three to six months you'll land your first six-figure job. So why should you listen to me? I've been in the game for eight years and brought quite a few people into this profession. I have executed multiple large-scale machine learning projects, accepted a few and rejected dozens of job offers, created a Python library for data scientists which has been downloaded over 200,000 times. And since I'm about to teach you how to get into my profession, I've prepared very thoroughly and reflected all the knowledge that I've acquired on my journey from a junior data scientist to a head of machine learning. So hear me out. Why even consider becoming a data scientist? Well, three points. First of all, it's a very interesting and impactful job. Think about it. Machine learning models that you'll create, if done right, will be predicting, optimizing, classifying different events and processes based on the data that even those who collect it don't fully understand. Working on a project for some customer, through their data, you will be looking at an X-ray of their business. And when you will deliver the results, senior management will be there to listen to what you have to say. Big paychecks. In any location, a data scientist's wage is higher than the average salary, and in some cases by an order of magnitude. And last but not least is the freedom. IT world is known for remote working opportunities, especially after COVID. And when you'll get good at it, you'll start developing different business ideas which you can bring to life based on the new skills that you have acquired. Apart from the actual study plan, I would like to touch on some key points. Who can become a data scientist? How to turn your mindset into the right gear before starting? What data science domains to consider? What programming languages? What, how, and how much exactly is there to learn? Now, there is a ton of materials out there, and most of it is useless. I've learned this the hard way. I'll guide you through the best materials in the right order. How to create your first data scientist CV. Which companies to consider at the start of your career. Okay, so the first point on our plan is who can become a data scientist. Short answer, anyone. I get this question all the time. Do you need a computer science degree or math degree to be a good data scientist? No, you don't. It won't hurt. But programming is a skill that can be gradually picked up. Listen to the end of this video and you'll see how. And all the required math is high school 11th grade. The best answer to this question is one true story. My friend who's been following this very plan has passed it over to this girl at the coffee shop counter where he gets his morning coffee. And a year later we find out that she's working as a data scientist in Germany and getting ready to apply for a technical degree. Mindset. Now this might be subjective since I'm mostly reflecting on my experience, but to be fair I've seen quite a few people try and fail. <laughs> Some common things stood out. If you think I'm gonna try, see how it goes and maybe then decide, this is definitely not the right motivation. A lot of stubborn devotion is necessary to master this craft. It will be hard, confusing and time consuming. But the good news is, it's totally doable. At some point you'll be thinking, what the hell am I doing? I don't understand anything. Trust me, it will all start to make sense. You just need to pass a certain learning threshold. There are two major domains. Traditional machine learning, that is working with structured tabular data, predicting sales, customer churn, uh, credit scoring, things like that. And there is deep learning, which is focused on image recognition, object detection, basically working with image, video, sound, and text data. Since quite some time, the field is increasingly being split up into many subcategories, like data analysis, data visualization, natural language processing, audio and signal data processing, and many more. In my humble opinion, a good data scientist should know it all, but not all at once. There is a basic level where you can apply to your first data scientist job. And then based on your interests and uh, work requirements, you will niche down into a specific field. The two main programming languages for data science are Python and R. You can also use other frameworks like Julia and Go, even C++ for that matter. But that is really an easy choice. You want Python. It has a richest set of machine learning libraries, a huge community and an endless list of answered questions on Stack Overflow. Plus it easily integrates into the production environment. Before we break it down, I want to mention one more thing. I'm a fan of learning by doing. So don't get carried away by enrolling into every possible course out there. Theoretical knowledge will vanish over time. So after having learned something new, if you have no work assignment for that matter, go do some cool project that is interesting for you or maybe win a data science competition. This will all contribute to your resume much more than a list of completed courses. Now let's get to the point of this video. What, how and how much exactly is there to learn? All the links to these materials will be in the description. Step 1. Python Masterclass. 
This doesn't involve a data science component and this is important because if you are new to this, having to study a programming language from scratch together with machine learning concepts, your head will explode. <laughs> So the purpose of the first step is just to get comfortable with the environment. If you feel that the first step was a piece of cake, then right away I advise you to enroll into the object-oriented programming course with Python. It is an advanced framework for writing code and it might be a bit harder to grasp at the start. So if you are having a hard time, you might want to postpone this step for a later time. But it's important that you understand this concept sooner or later. Data science with Python. Here you'll build on top of the skills you've acquired previously and uh, throughout this course you'll learn about data acquisition, processing, cleaning, feature engineering, how to train and validate your models and how to predict on new data. It's a quick introductory course that will teach you how to use all the modern machine learning tools. The next step is creative. Learn by doing, remember? Participate in Kaggle competitions. Kaggle is a gold standard platform where data scientists from all over the world compete to solve some real-world problems. With this step, you'll get to apply all the knowledge you've acquired within your education process. You may select any competition out there, but I would advise just starting with these two. They have finished long ago, but the data, the leaderboard and the submission pipelines are still open. So you can execute the full project, submit the results and check your score on the leaderboard. Now, a few things I want to mention here. If you have absolutely no idea where to start, check the competition's code and discussions thread. There you will be able to find answers to many questions and even complete code for the whole assignment. But don't abuse it, learn on your own. The result of your participation in a Kaggle competition should be your publication on Kaggle of a notebook, an explanation, full code of how you have executed each part of the project. Now, I don't even know how to stress this enough. Just do it. This is very important. First of all, it will help you understand what you have done in full. And secondly, this will pimp out your Kaggle profile. I've got one of my jobs when an employer has checked out my notebooks for these very competitions on Kaggle. Links below is an example of what your work with these notebooks should look like. After having completed the practical step on Kaggle, now it's time for some hardcore machine learning wisdom. Competitive data science. Now, this course is like a PhD for data scientists, and I don't know how this is even legal. I guess this is why this course has been deleted from open access. But not to worry, I found all the video lectures and programming assignments in free access, so you won't even have to pay for them. In this course, Kaggle Grandmasters share all their experience, code, tips and tricks, and so much more. But don't rush into this course right away, because without practical experience, you will just not be able to digest the information. <laughs> You will have to have developed your own solutions and questions before diving into this course. The above steps will have laid the foundation for your data science career. At this point, you can throw your resume out there and start applying for new jobs. But the learning doesn't stop here. While you are working and applying for your first job, I highly advise you to go over the deep learning specialization course with Andrew NG. He's one of the brightest minds out there and the way he delivers the material is just fascinating. Deep knowledge of deep neural networks. All the other materials on my list are broken down into domains. I've studied all of them and every one of them without exception have been useful in my machine learning challenges on the job. The trick is not to study everything at once, but instead focus on the basics which we have just covered and when you're faced with a particular problem at work, study the required materials which you now have reference for. For example, I've studied a time series course when I had a forecasting problem at work and I was able to apply my new knowledge immediately. Now, how to get a job with zero experience? Remember Kaggle competitions? Turn them into freelance projects and reflect them on your CV. You won't even have to lie because Kaggle competitions are based on real data from real companies. Don't forget about your LinkedIn profile. Keep it updated with your progress. All the official education courses will provide a valid certificate upon completion. There is a special section on your LinkedIn profile where you can list them. At some point, recruiters will start reaching out to you based on your LinkedIn profile. Nowadays, data science market is more or less mature. Companies have developed competences and you will not be able to just bluff your way into a senior role. So be humble and apply for a junior data scientist or data analyst positions. So which type of company would I suggest? Well, my answer is not going to be that obvious. I think that a role in a quick and dynamic startup is the best place to start your career. They move fast, break stuff and learn along the way. But startups don't usually have the privilege to hire and teach. You will be lucky to get a position there. In general, they prefer their new employees to hit the ground running. Contrary to that, consider a well-established employer. It doesn't even have to be a tech company. This will not be as fun as a startup, but apart from the actual data science practice, you will learn the mature software development principles and get a reliable first record on your CV. 
So to recap, don't study everything at once. Programming language first, data science second. Get practice with projects close to real work by participating on Kaggle. Study the advanced concepts. And this is the bare minimum to apply for a new job. Put some time into your CV, public profiles and start applying for jobs. See which domains you like the most and continue your education and practice. Constantly update your CV with proof of new experience you have gained. Hopefully this plan will streamline your journey into advanced analytics. It took me nearly a decade to refine it. This might be a long video, but this 20 to 30 minutes will save you a year. If you find this video useful, give it a like and subscribe. And best of luck.